They write it in clear words. No peace here. He's trying to tell you that nobody should urinate here. And if you urinate here, you can go to the police station. Then you pay off a fine of 5,000 euros. Timbaland and Balak have successfully started school. Here, teachers carry a cane and you can be punished for being late to school. Stand up! They are not doing very badly. They are, they are very punctual in school, as you can see. They are always punctual in terms of progress, no problem. Right? But youngest is still having problems, and we try to find out why. There's a box called Top Up. Right. He used to take it. He had friends that introduced him to that. When he takes it, it could be. He could not be himself. He looked like someone that wants to cry, he looked like someone that's got us kind of off her face or something, or something. But now he stopped taking it. You know when they're under control, nine nine problem. You want no more leg go, I want to cry So he left to one. You know they're not with her, I don't try. But youngest has kept going to the classes we booked him into. I always come to class. Early. Are you enjoying it? Yes. You don't want to be just that one now, right? Yes, I don't have to move him. You don't want to be high? Yes. Why? Why you don't want to be high? Nothing. Where are you sleeping now? In the storeroom or outside? Sometimes I sleep in the storeroom, sometimes I sleep outside. But you keep your books and clothes in the store. Yes. We ask youngest to try and find somewhere else he can sleep, and the following week he says he's found somewhere. It's just a room with a mattress that he will share with three others. But we pay the twenty pounds a year rent, but have little conviction that this will work out. I mean, is this somewhere he can go to school from? Is this somewhere he can study? Is this somewhere where he's not going to be tempted by drugs or anything else? Balak! Balak! Hmm? Balak! Balak! I cannot be tempted by the drugs. Look at them Sometimes I usually study outside here. Yeah. yeah? What would be your dream job? Engineer. I want to be an electrician. After finishing my school, I have to go again to do the electrician course. I want to be a magistrate. Is the one that the person go and meet when you want to go and bail somebody. The money, I, I am the one who collect the money. Then I took the case. <laughs> so I leave the one that yes. <laughs> Do you think the magistrate keeps the money? Yes. Why? Here, you have to pay money to go to school. Yeah, because of if you don't pay money, yeah, when you go to the school, they won't teach you anything and you will not learn nothing. Do you think it sh education should be free? Yes, it should be free. Why do you think Sierra Leone is a poor country? Sierra Leone is a poor country because we have the money because we don't make use of it. We have so many minerals. We have bauxite, metal, gold. diamond, gold. And this one too, this one that you are seeing here. I have oil. You have oil here. You mood have oil. So why, if you have all that, are you still a poor country? Why? Unless another person who is coming out from another country is coming out, is <laughs> making a good use of them because we don't have the the material facility to do all that thing. We don't able to do any like anything like that for us here. Yeah. How do you learn? From television, from newspaper, from school? How do you know? Sometimes they teach us at school and sometimes we read from paper. Sometimes in Use BBC paper. News. On radio, SLBS. What age were you when you stopped going to school? 
I'll forget that age. I, went, I just went to school from 2001 to 2005, then I stopped. Yeah, we wear school uniform. Does every school wear school uniform? Yeah, every school. How do you make money? I just, I just have to go and help Peter or that's what I want, so that I will have money. But instead of that, I won't have anywhere else to go and find money. And youngest? Youngest. Youngest. I, I usually help my stepmother. I, I fetch her for her to give me small things. How much does she give you? Sometimes give me 2,000, sometimes 3,000. And you buy food from that? Yes. Who's been arrested? Only you. Have you been arrested? Ever? Chief police is only. Yeah. Yes. Police arrested me. What for? I don't know. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. From the police station, they bring me to court. From court, they discharge me. What did they accuse you of? What were you charged with? Loyalty for sleeping in the street. They arrest me for loyalty. So maybe they put most of. 30 or 40, up to 50 or something. Sometimes one people will die because of the odds. Would you like to have somewhere for just yourself? Yeah, we like, yes. we like to have this like that. For our money, I, I want to rent a room for myself. Because if you have a place for yourself, you at any no time you want to go there, you go there, you won't have a stress. They, you won't sleep at the streets anymore, and then it will protect you from the police back. In that time when the war was, we, will not, we don't have a mind to come like this, to come and sit here. As for me, I was having a little sense about that. They just hide me from because of the gunshots. During that time, I was not coming outside. They, they usually tell us that what's been the war is, is for money business, that's why. Two, two presidents, one, one wants to come and sit and one other one wants to come and sit. So they were trying to come uh, and sit. As for me, I think they are white. Or, or you are mixed. They are white and they are black. Like you. you think they're all like me? Yes. Not all of them. Maybe there are some black people like us too. That would you there. What do you think? Yes, some of them like you, some of them like us here. Food costs between 1,000 and 2,000 leons a plate, so around 20 p. And always consists of rice with potato leaves or cassava leaves and some meat or fish in it.